Hello, this is Jesus Daughter Lamar, and today I am here to talk to you about a topic called Are You Tired of the False Image? Okay, and what I mean by that is, are you tired of, you know, uh, being something that you're really not, and you're trying to keep up this image to uh, maybe draw friends to you or different types of crowds of people in your life? Um, that you could be using to maybe make you happy or to make your day go by faster every single day as you live on earth well i'm here to tell you that um you know if this image that you're trying to keep up is draining you out it's making you tired done it's um taking all the life and energy out of you that god have put in you then therefore this might not be of god and therefore you don't really have to do this you don't have to keep up an image that you're not comfortable with keeping up and this image is taking all the life and energy from you as i said before um what you can do is is find out who you are in yourself uh who god created you to be on earth and you know just just do what works for you like i had said this before a couple of times in a previous video just do what works for you and the reason why I'm bringing this back up is because, um, you know, I always see different people when I'm out and about um, from time to time in the past as of now. Um, you know, that I, and I can see that they be trying to keep up a certain image and it's really not who they really are. You see what I'm saying? And it kind of trips me out because I'm like, you know, they just don't know. They don't have to do all that just to get attention or to keep, uh, you know, just to keep friends around them or just to keep certain people around them it's not that serious you know just just do what works for you uh because you know the lord he puts things in our spirit and he it's kind of like you know whoever you are and who are and who you are created to be it you know just let it flow just let it come out of your spirit and flow and let it show because you being yourself and you keeping up the image that works for you and and who you really are that be be you know be understandable that this can't actually reach the next person you you know you might not know it or not but this might actually reach someone else that you never could imagine could reach you see what i'm saying so by you putting this false image in the air in front of everyone in stores and malls uh events or wherever you may go around your family friends husband wives or children whatever it may be you know if that's not true that's just not true and that's just the way it is and just be just just let it be you know just just appreciate who you are and just work what you have in front of you like just be um, just, just, you know, put that image out there of who you really are and just be who you are. Uh, as long as it's not an image that falls to where it's leading you to, you know, trouble and creating a bunch of drum in the air. That's not what I'm speaking of today. That is definitely not what I'm talking about. I'm very specific. I'm saying that people that are, you know, putting up false images to keep friends around, families, to draw people to them that probably is no good for them anyway. And them doing all this extra work to keep this image up is a waste of time um it would definitely be i think a waste of time so i just want to let you guys know if you are one of those people that is struggling to be who you want to be who you are called to be in the in the kingdom of jesus and who you are called to be period in life be you be be just be who you are and keep the false image out the way throw it throw it back in the piece of hell give it back to the devil it's a waste of time now it's nothing wrong with you uh you know keeping yourself uh you know taking care of yourself it's nothing wrong with you even trying new styles new clothing new hair wares new whatever new shoes it's nothing wrong with that you might see somebody with some nice pair of shoes in the store or you might see somebody with a nice hairdo ladies and you might be like oh that's beautiful that that's pretty that looks nice on her or you or dudes you might see some guys with some nice shoes and be like those are nice i never saw those before those are different and creative from whatever everyone else wear and you might want to go buy you some shoes you might say hey when you bought those shoes from a or or who did your hair or you know and you might want to wear that particular style at that time it's nothing wrong with that it's nothing wrong with that but i'm just saying as far as you personally in your inner spirit be you as far as your character the character that god created you to have when you when you came to the world and when you came out the womb just be you just be you no know, just just let the image that god gave you 
uh, you know, just explore into the world. Let it be seen. Let it be shown. Because by you doing it, this can really reach someone else. You see what I'm saying? Uh, it can really reach someone else and speak to someone else's life. Honestly, you would not know how powerful powerful this can be. Because even though it's an image um, that God give us all, whether it's character, uh, whatever, the way you dress, it all can be used as a tool to reach people. God will use that. Uh, you know, the way you carry yourself, the, the way you speak, you know, all these things uh, count. Trust me, I, I know this. God has shown me this for my own life. Uh, this counts, you know. So I just want to uh, share that video with you and let you know how they roll and how they go down with this image, uh, which is called, you know, false images for those that are tired of putting on false images and they have to do too much to keep a false image up. Let it go. Throw it back in the pits of hell. Let the devil have that false image because it's not that serious. Um, like I said, depending on what you're trying to do or whatever it is, that's, that's the deal with that, to make it simple. But I just wanted to share that with you guys, and I thank you so much for listening to this video. Hopefully this would help someone that is dealing with this particular area in this season. And um, that's all. Like Just be you and just do what it do. And keep it simple. And just, um, you know... Just be who you are, you know. You the kind of person, like I said, I want to uh, share this as well. You the kind of person to where you like to crack jokes a lot, and um, but you use that, uh, you know, to and God is using that in your life from start to keep maybe to keep you going or to keep you uh in in a good happy spirit instead of being sad and depressive all the time. Then that's a good thing. You can let that show in stories wherever you may be around your family because this might reach them instead of you walking around looking the press and sad for no reason so you, because you're trying to fit in with people that's looking sad and depressed that you may want to be friends with or, or want to be around every day and it might not be worth it or you could be lacking of what god trying to do in your life through this particular image that he created you to be and have and show to the world you see what i'm saying so that's why i say it's important that you just be you know creative and show your image and just be who you supposed to be and stop trying to put on these false images because like I said it's a waste of time and it also can hinder your blessings honestly like real truth it can hinder your blessings because you know it's a waste of time you know we have a hundred people trying to be the same way do the same thing when they're not called to do the same thing you're not called to be the same person I mean if that's the case everybody in the world will be the same you see what I'm saying you might be called to have a heart. The next person might be called to be wicked. It's, it's the truth, but that's the way it is. The next person might be called to live for the devil. And you guys already know these secrets. The next person might be called to walk with God and be chosen by God and to do great things for God and to move the earth with truth. Okay, so all of these things are included in your image. Okay, this is a part of your image, whether you want to believe it or not. It's the truth. It's a part of your image. So I just wanted to share this with you guys so that you guys can get a, uh, you know, a feel of how this works and how powerful uh, carrying a false image or a real image around, um, you know, around you in your life. This is very, very important. So I just wanted to share this with you guys and hopefully that this um, video helps. Thank you. And um, like I said, that's all it is to it. Just keep it, keep it real and you'll be good to go.